everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a makeup tutorial on the look I'm currently wearing. I'm absolutely obsessed with this look. I decided to use some of my makeup key shadows like you guys requested in my June favorites. If you guys haven't seen, I'll link it down below in the description box. But I really wanted to create this really nice warm, dark brown smoky eye and pair it with some really nice glowy dewy skin and a really glossy pink lip this is perfect for summer this is kind of like my everyday go-to look if I don't know what I want to wear and I just want to slap something on this is kind of what I go for just because I love it I'm comfortable in it and it's so versatile anyone can wear it so if you guys want to see how I got this look just keep on watching Hey everyone, alright, so to start off this tutorial, I already primed and did my face makeup just to kind of save some time, so leave everything I used down below. But we're going to start out with the eyes, so I'm going to start by taking my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and priming our eyes. This is really just going to make our eyeshadows stay on super, super long and create a great base for our eyeshadows. Alright, now just taking some of my favorite makeup beach shadows and taking the color Beaches and Cream with a really big fluffy eyeshadow brush and just kind of dusting that all over my eyelid just to kind of set that primer that we put down before. And it's also really going to help make our eyeshadows blend seamlessly together. Alright, now I'm just taking the color Peach Smoothie. This is my favorite transition shade. I'm not being very precise with this just because it is a transition shade. It's just a slightly bit darker than that uh, Beaches and Cream color. I'm taking that all over my crease with a big fluffy Morphe blending brush. I'll leave all of my brush descriptions down below. And then with a more tapered brush, I'm taking the colors Creme Brulee and Frappe and just kind of placing that a little bit more precisely in my crease. Still not being super, super careful where I'm being a little bit more messy, but just kind of placing that color a little bit below the Peach Smoothie color. Now for one of my favorite shades, I'm taking the color Cocoa Bear, which is a really nice warm kind of terracotta-y brown, and I'm taking that on an even more tapered crease brush. It's a little bit smaller than the one we used before, and I'm really focusing that on my outer V and kind of blending it into my crease. I really want all that pigmentation on the outer V portion, and just dragging the rest of what's on my brush into my crease. Now I'm taking the same brush I used to apply the peach smoothie shade with no additional product and just blending out that cocoa bear shade that I put on my outer V. Now for a little bit more drama, I'm taking a really nice sparkly black shade from Anastasia. This is called Black Diamond. I love this color. It just gives it a little bit more of a glam look because it has those sparkles in it. I'm just applying it with a really small eyeshadow brush in my outer V really, really precisely with this. And then I'm going to take a really big fluffy brush and just kind of blend it out. I'm not blending it out too much just because I don't want that cocoa bear shade to kind of disappear on me, but I just want to blend it out just enough where the lines are not going to be super harsh. Alright, now for the fun part, I'm taking one of the foiled eyeshadows from Makeup Geek called In the Spotlight on a really flat shader brush and just really packing that color on my lid. This is one of my favorite foiled shadows from Makeup Geek. I have a bunch of them and I'm obsessed with this one. It's like a really nice pink, peachy, beige champagne color. It's just absolutely stunning. There's just no words. You can build this up a lot or a little bit. It's still going to give you a beautiful metallic look. Oh my god, I just obsessed. I cannot wait to buy more of them and have the entire collection, seriously. Alright, I'm just going back with that same blending brush I used to apply Cocoa Bear. You can never do enough blending, seriously, especially with a look like this. I'm also going back and applying a little bit more of the Black Diamond shade. I just wanted a little bit more of the pigmentation since I lost it when I applied my lid shade. This is definitely like an unnecessary step. You do not have to go back and keep adding more color. I just felt like it and really wanted to make it a really bold look today. So I did that. And again, you can never do too much blending. Blend until your arm falls off. Literally, just keep blending. It'll make it worth it, I promise. For my brown bone highlight, I'm just going in with the color from Anastasia called Legend. This is very similar to Max Nylon. It's just not going to be as intense, but it's still going to be that pale white kind of soft gold look and I just absolutely love it. So if you get a little squeamish, you do not have to watch this part, but I'm just tightlining with my L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner Pencil in brown. And then I'm going to apply a winged liner with my NYC Liquid Eyeliner. Thank you. 
All right, so for mascara today, I'm just applying a light coat of my Maybelline Last Sensational because I am going to be playing falsies. As you guys will see, I'm trying these new ones from Ardell. They're in their chocolate line. They're the number 886, and they're really nice and wispy, but I just love how they're brown, and they go perfect with this look, too. So everything we did to the top lid, we're doing on the bottom. So I'm taking a really nice flat shader brush with Cocoa Bear and just kind of lining my lower lash line with this. And then I'm also going to go in with a really small eyeshadow brush and take Black Diamond and just focus this on the outer corner of my eye. I really wanted to leave that color on the outer third of my eye just because it will make my eye look a little bit smaller if I bring it in too much farther so I'm just gonna leave that on the outer corner and then I'm taking that same color we use on our lid in the spotlight and just really placing that on the inner third of my eye just because it really helps brighten and really make my eye pop I just absolutely love that color And because I wanted my eyes to look really bright and big today, I decided to take another foil eyeshadow from Makeup Peak in the color Starry Eyed and just kind of place it in my inner corners just to kind of really brighten everything up a little bit more. And to finish off my eyes, I'm just be playing a light coating of mascara to my bottom lashes. I'm just using the same one I use on my top lashes. Alright, now for contouring and shaping up my face, I'm just taking my MAC 109 brush and using the colors Fawn and Java from my Anastasia Contour Kit. I love these. I'm just kind of making a fishy face and kind of finding the hollows of my cheekbones and placing those colors there. And I'm also bringing them to the tops of my temples and my forehead. And then I will be also applying it on my jawline, a little bit down my neck, and then under my lip just to kind of make my lip a little bit more pouty. And it's also going to kind of fake a little bit more of a fuller lip kind of effect. I love this technique. I do it all the time and I cannot contour without contouring my nose so of course I had to contour my nose just ever so slightly and just bring it down and again contour my jawline. For bronzer I'm kind of going back in with an oldie but a goodie. This is Max Gave Me Sun. I'm just using that on a really big fluffy kind of stippling brush from Morphe. I'll leave all of the information of the brushes I use down below. For blush, I decided to pull out my Smashbox Halo Longwear Blush in the color Warm Glow. You guys, this gives the perfect flush to your cheeks. I'm obsessed. I forgot how much I loved this blush. I haven't worn it in a while, and I'm so glad I pulled it back out. I will be reaching for this so much this summer. It is so beautiful. It's just like that really nice peachy glow. Ugh, I'm obsessed. And then of course, I'm topping it off with my Physicians Formula Natural Nude Highlighting Powder. Do you guys like see that glow? Like, hello? Oh my god. I can't. It's just, highlight is on fleek. So for my lips today, I wanted to do like a really nice light pink glossy lip. So I'm taking both Angel and Myth from MAC and applying those together. And then to top it off to create a glossy effect, I'm taking the color Nymphette. This is just one of MAC's lip glasses and placing that on top of both of those lip colors. And then gives a beautiful, nice baby doll pink. I love it. And of course, to finish off the look, I'm spraying my entire face with my Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray just to kind of set everything in place. And then you guys are all done. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I absolutely love it. If you guys see it on my Instagram too many times, I apologize. i just obsessed with it. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you guys did, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!